the battleship. Throughout the 1930s, as international tensions rose to boiling point, during the interwar period, all the world's foremost navies expanded their fleets with bigger and stronger ships than ever before. Battleships were the largest warships that utilized gun-based weaponry as their main armament. Hundreds of feet in length, and displacing tens of thousands of tons, their size allowed them to carry the largest guns and the thickest armor. While battleships are massive weapons, some were larger than others. We selected these six battleships out of them all, according to displacement length and firepower and other fixtures to determine the top six biggest battleships of the World War II period. Without further delay, let's dive in. The Littorio class battleships of the Regia Marima. The dreadnoughts of this class were the largest, fastest, and most powerful battleships of the Italian Navy. We will focus on Roma, the third ship of the class, as she was slightly longer and heavier than her two sisters. During the interwar period, Italy had 70,000 tons allotted to them for new battleship construction. Though Italy tried to develop two ships of 35,000 tons, they ultimately decided to build two battleships of 40,000 tons, ignoring the treaty. The first two ships, Littorio and Vittorio Veneto, were laid down in the mid-1930s. Armed with nine powerful 15 guns and capable of speeds of 30 knots, the Littorio class were among the most powerful battleships of their day. Two more ships, Roma and Impero, were later authorized with only Roma being completed. Roma was built to a modified design featuring an improved bow and additional light anti-air guns. The Littorio class did not meet its end at the hands of the British, due to increasingly severe fuel constraints and the losses in escort ships, left them increasingly hamstrung throughout 1942. Upon the armistice in 1943, the Littorio was renamed Italia. The three Littorio battleships sailed to Malta to surrender themselves to the Allies. The French Richelieu class battleship. The Richelieu class battleships were the last and largest battleships of the French Navy, staying in service into the 1960s. They still remain to this day the largest warships ever built by France. Designed in the 1930s to counter the threat of the Italian Vittorio Veneto class battleships. The Richelieu class were essentially scaled up versions of the preceding Dunkirk class, featuring a main battery of eight 380mm guns in two quadruple turrets, in forward superfiring positions. Four Richelieu class ships, of three different subclasses, were designed over the course of three naval construction programs, in 1935, 1936, and 1938. Only three were laid down. Only the first two units, the Richelieu and the Jan Bard, were ever completed. They saw service during World War II, first under Vichy control in Lucca, 1940 and Casablanca 1942, then under the Allies control, the Richelieu participating in British Home Fleet and Eastern Fleet operations and supporting the French forces return to Indochina in late 1945. The Jan Bart was not completed until the 1950s, and took part in the operations off Port Said, Egypt, during the Suez Crisis in 1956. The Richelieu was scrapped in 1968, and the Jan Bart in 1970. Next in our top 6 list is the HMS Vanguard, the last battleship of the Royal Navy as well as the last battleship to ever be launched. Fast, well armed, and extremely well protected, Vanguard is easily one of the best battleships ever to sail the sea. Knowing the threat of the newest German and Japanese battleships, the Royal Navy had already designed the powerful Lion-class battleships. However, it soon became apparent that they could not be launched in time, leaving the Royal Navy at a disadvantage. 
it was decided to take a modified Iron class hull and equip it with leftover 15 guns from World War I to produce a battleship that would be available sooner. However, the ship would not be completed until after World War II due to revised designs and the shuffling of material elsewhere. The Vanguard as an ad hoc design, she was incredibly powerful, featuring an excellent combination of speed, firepower, and armor that put her above a vast majority of more well-known battleships. On the 9th of October 1959 the Admiralty announced that Vanguard would be scrapped as she was considered obsolete and too expensive to maintain. She was decommissioned on the 7th of June 1960 and sold. Next we have the Bismarck class battleships of the German Kriegsmarine. In this video it's not the famous Bismarck that represents the class, but her sister Tirpitz modifications made to her during the war increased her displacement until she became the largest battleship used by a European country. Throughout the 1930s, the German Navy had examined several battleship designs that remained within treaty limits. However, they eventually decided to build a much more balanced and traditional design that exceeded 40,000 tons. Two ships were built, Bismarck and Tirpitz, Featuring 815 guns and exceptionally strong armor, they were the most powerful battleships in Europe at the time of their launch. Tirpitz soldiered on as a fleet in being, quietly spending her time in Norway. She received new equipment and weaponry during this time, making her grow until she displaced over 2,300 more tons than her sister. Both Bismarck and Tirpitz had short service careers. Bismarck conducted only one operation, Operation Rainbow After three days, it was sunk in the Northern Atlantic on the 27th of May 1941. After being damaged by torpedoes dropped by ferry swordfish biplanes from HMS Furious and HMS Ark Royal, Bismarck was reduced to a sinking condition by gunfire from HMS King George and HMS Rodney before torpedoes from HMS Devonshire finished her off. While Bismarck sailed for Nazi-occupied France for repairs when she had been attacked from all sides by two battleships and five other ships. Her sister Tirpitz intercepted merchants between Britain and Russia near Norway. Following a number of failed attacks, including an attempt to place large charges under the hull by midget submarines, she was eventually wrecked by tall boy bombs dropped by Avro Lancaster bombers of the Royal Air Force. Being the battleships that were designed to be larger and more powerful than any other, it should come as no surprise that the Yamato class reigned supreme as the largest battleships ever built. These Leviathans were designed to outgun and outlast all competition. To do this, they carried nine massive 18, 1 inches or 460 mm guns, and 16 or 410 mm of belt armor. Even with the large guns and thick armor, the battleships were relatively fast with speeds exceeding 27 knots. Only two battleships of this class, Yamato and Masashi, were completed. With a full load displacement equal to two treaty battleships, the Japanese Navy made no attempt to abide by the treaty, producing a powerful battleship that certainly will never be surpassed in size. Both the battleship Yamato and the Masashi were so heavily armed and armored, that the Japanese firmly believed these battleships were unmatchable and unsinkable. The Yamato battleship embarked on its last sea mission on April 6, 1945 when the American submarines located the position of the battleship. On April 7, the American bombing attack took place in three waves. American aircraft bombarded the battleship's deck with bombs and missiles, while torpedo bombers attacked the ship's port. The order of abandonment of the ship was given at 2 p.m. of that day. As Yamato started to overturn, the stern ammunition compartment caught fire, causing a huge explosion. 
it is estimated that Yamato was hit by at least 11 torpedoes and 6 bombs. Musashi was attacked by approximately 259 aircraft launched in 6 waves, receiving a total of 19 torpedo hits, 10 to its port and 9 to its starboard side. The magnitude of this attack sealed the ship's fate. And in last and not least, the Iowa class battleship. The last battleships completed by the United States Navy, the Iowa class, were larger, faster, and more heavily armored than all previous US dreadnoughts. Their impressive displacement of over 57,000 long tons nets them on our top six list. Designed to counter the fast battleships of the Japanese Congo class, the Iowa class were designed with an emphasis on high speeds in addition to firepower and armor. Capable of speeds greater than 32.5 knots the Iowa class needed to be larger in order to accommodate the huge power plant and greater freeboard. Armor was similar to the preceding South Dakota class, though the firepower was enhanced through the use of 9 16.5 inches guns a more powerful model compared to those aboard the earlier dreadnoughts. Designed for a standard displacement of 45,000 long tons, as time went on the ship, got ever heavier due to more weaponry and electronics. Eventually, their displacement grew to over 57,000 long tons. In addition to their size and speed, the Iowa class were known for their long service lives. The ships served on and off until the early 1990s, well past the age of the battleship. Nicknamed Mighty Mo, the Missouri was an Iowa class battleship that saw combat in World War II, the Korean War and the Gulf War. Before finally being decommissioned in 1992, the Mighty Mo received three battle stars for its service in World War II, five for the Korean War, as well as two combat action ribbons and several commendations and medals for the Gulf War. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.